Welcome back to PHP for Beginners. In this tutorial, I will discuss form handling. I hope you had, have had a chance to listen to my earlier six tutorials in this series, which start with uh, installing PHP and go all the way to built-in functions. In this tutorial, we will create a simple PHP guestbook. This is more like a real-world application of PHP. You might have seen on many websites they have a contact us form and where you would put in your name and your email address and you provide a message when you click on the submit button the message is sent to the recipient and uh, you could also create a form like that using PHP and uh, this tutorial will demonstrate that so this is our goal this is what we will be creating you will be creating three files one called guestbook.php this is the main file which will display that form and uh, then there is a, also one called update guestbook so when the user clicks on the update button this is the PHP file that is run view guestbook is used for you to view the entries that are currently in the guestbook database when the user provides us the information we are going to store that information in a database and this is what the database table structure is going to look like we will create one table of course we need to store name email and the greetings that the user would provide us each user would provide us we are going to also add another field called ID a unique number and that number would be auto incremented so you don't need to type that number in there uh, it'll automatically be incremented by one from the previously uh, saved value and we also want to store the date on which they uh, the date on which the entry was created okay so let's start with setting up my SQL database remember this needs to be done only once open your browser and go to HTTP 127.0.0.1 home slash mysql make sure that easy php is running before you try this one as soon as you do that php my admin will show up and it will help, help you create your database needed for this exercise so under create new database type in the name of the database we are going to call it guestbook we don't need to provide any other information click on the create button once it confirms that the database is created then you are going to create one table within that database the name of the table is guestbook underscore entries and it will have five fields or five columns then when it shows you the five fields fill in these data ID name email greetings and post date ID is going to be an integer type a whole number name is varchar variable number of characters but not to exceed 100 same for email greeting is of the type text so you can put in a large amount of text you don't have to set the size for that type of variable post date is again a varchar we are going to set aside 100 characters for that against the ID field make sure that you select or check AI or auto increment checkbox continuing on with setting up my database after you created the fields without any errors PHP my admin will display a screen similar to this image uh, we are going to leave the username as root and password leave it empty no password for this database then you're going to create your guestbook.php file this is essentially typing in this text as shown on this page and when you are done with it save it as guestbook.php uh, in this case uh, I'll just explain a few things here it says that this is the guestbook.php file which also has a link to home if you look at 
the screen that we saw earlier. View guestbook PHP will let you bring up uh, the currently stored values and then when the user clicks on the submit button it's the update guestbook PHP that is going to be run. The rest of the code here essentially has to do with creating this form name email greetings and you are creating a, a simple table and displaying those values and it says here is the submit button which has the caption submit greetings so that's the guestbook.php file then when the user clicks on the submit button update guestbook php file is going to be run so we need to also create that file so again go ahead and type this file type in this text and save it as update guestbook.php and essentially in this case we are going to be loading the database opening the database and inserting that record by using the insert into SQL command and user of course would give me the name email and the greetings and we will generate ID and the post date so that's the second file the third file is view underscore guestbook.php uh, again this one has uh, requires access to the database where it's going to be accessing the data from the database using the select command you'll select name email greetings and post date from the guestbook entries and then using the mysql fetch array command that I showed you in my previous uh, tutorial uh, using that you can actually iterate over the result set or the resulting data and display them in a table so now let's go ahead and run that by typing HTTP 127.0.0.1 slash guestbook.php you should see a form like that show up put in some name and your email address and put in some greetings and when you click on the submit button that greeting is going to be stored that those entries will be stored in a database then if you want to query the database here is the query command you go back and connect to the database you select email greetings and the post date from the guestbook entries table in your database and then iterate over that array and display the results when I ran that uh, view guestbook I only had one entry so it basically displays that entry we of course saw the name email and greetings in the form that we filled in but this is also displaying the date and the time at which that entry was created okay so that was a quick tutorial to creating forms a real-world application uh, there was a lot of code shown in this tutorial you could type that in if not you can go to my website and download that code please visit my website techedguru.com it contains tutorials on many programming languages such as Java C sharp visual basic PHP of course XML and so on thank you for listening